what's going on everyone i hope this uh audio doesn't suck too bad it's pretty windy out here and uh trying to control the boat at the same time but as you can see i'm back out on the lake this time it's the big lake so my mission's been uh to catch a, a salmon this year um and finally uh, i succeeded so check this out So for those of you wondering, uh, that's that's a king salmon, and um, so just wanted to make a a quick video because a lot of you asking me what motivates me to do what I do. So I figured I'd use the fishing analogy as a motivation. So I was exactly at this spot about. What was it 13 years ago right before i started my career and uh, i had a month of uh break before i started my job so i decided i would uh take on salmon fishing since uh, september is uh shore salmon fishing season so uh, so i decided i figured i put that time to good use and learn a new skill so I always wanted to catch some salmon. I wanted to know what uh, what it requires, and just trying to perfect the skill. So, and obviously, it's not as easy as you would think it is to land a nice uh, salmon from shore. Well, as you can see, I'm on a kayak now. So, luckily, you know, saving up money, I uh, have been able to purchase this nice Hobie. And this thing has been perfect for fishing and just going out with family and stuff like that. So, as I was saying, so 13 years ago I landed my first salmon. But that took me almost a full month of September of coming out to this exact same spot. And coming out here every day and trying to catch a salmon. And almost to the day, at the end of September... I was able to land one finally so hopefully I'll find that picture I'll post it on here and uh, yeah I was like I didn't give up I just stayed persistent and uh, I finally landed one and I, I did a lot of reading talked to a lot of people who know know what it what type of uh, lures and fishing gear requires just in, had to invest a little bit of money into the right fishing gear and uh, yeah, it all paid paid off, and then years following that, I'd come out here and I just uh, destroy it. I mean, I'd come out and limit out on salmon right away because I already figured it out. But fast forward uh, 13 years, I haven't been out here fishing in a very long time. I haven't caught a salmon in quite a few years. You know, once you start your career, you don't really have time for anything. You know, usually you just life happens and you just stay focused on that so this is my third time this year of uh coming out here to try to catch a salmon the first two times derek well derek and i came out and I completely struck out not even a single bite and i figured today is the last nice warm day and this was a last minute decision decided to come out here by myself and just went all over the place all you see is fish jumping all over and couldn't land anything. Had a couple of fish follow. So then decided to change my tactic a little bit and uh, park right next to this buoy here. And first cast out, I was able to land that salmon. Well, one is all I really need. So now I'm just going to do this video and hopefully do a catch and cook with the, with the salmon. And as you see in the past, I did the cold smoking, so maybe I'll do a fillet of cold smoke and one fillet I'll, uh, I'll fry it up. So hopefully I'll have time to make a video with that. But either way, with the motivational part of just anything that I do, um, I, pretty much I have uh, an obsessive personality. But anything that I do or anything new that I, I want to do, um, I try to perfect it. So I talk to the people that know better than me, the experts, as you'd call, and uh, 
ask for their guidance, do my own research, so, and um, and I just go from there. And I just take a deep dive and I try to perfect it. Uh, so as you can see, I have a ton of hobbies, too many interests. Honestly, it's it's kind of hard to have enough time for all of them. But either way, pretty much with like fitness, I mean that's been my obsession. Uh, I know it's hard to believe, but I was a fat kid once, and all the way to my senior year of high school, I was a fat kid. So, and my senior year, I was finally able to uh, lose some weight, and uh, and then uh, from then on, I just just been training nonstop. So my so my main motivation is obviously my children because I want to be around for them. Like it kind of depresses me to when you go in the, to the public pool in the summertime and all you see is all these obese kids. I mean, I understand that parents get busy and whatever. They don't want to take care of themselves, but parents have to be good role models for their children and they have to think about their future as well. So I try to be a good role model for my children and, um, sorry, try not to lose my phone here. So I try to put them on the right path with fitness, diet, whatever, just healthy eating, not just, not really diet, because my kids still eat a ton of candy. But just with anything that they do, I don't want them to be quitters, because, I mean, I was a quitter too when I was fat and unmotivated. So yeah, when I was uh, fat, unmotivated, always feeling sorry for myself, you know, why I couldn't get any dates when I was young, but, you know, I had to, uh, you know, dig deep and uh, just motivate myself to start training. So pretty much that's what happened. Uh, my senior year of high school, I was able, like I said, I was uh, able to lose some weight and uh, focus on sports and then joined the military and the military definitely shaped me into who I am today so that's where my motivation came from actually the military because I always wanted to be in the military and the funny thing is what really mo motivated me was just some punk kid in high school because I used to have this uh, hand-me-down shirt that said army on it and this punk kid that said that ah, you'll never be in the army and he was just talking crap whatever and it really pissed me off so I was like well you'll see when I get out of high school and that's what happened and pretty much military motivated me and I still maintain the same mindset today and uh, yeah the so pretty much when I got out of the, the military, I acted like I'm still in the military. I still maintained the same uh, mindset. I always maintain the same physical ability or try to even make it better. Honestly, I'm, uh, I'm in my 40s now and I'm still in better shape than I was when I was in the army. Just because I'm older and wiser now, I have more experience so I know I know what I'm doing now versus just figuring things out. So, I don't. so yeah, my daily motivation is, well, now that I'm older, is longevity. And I want to be around for my grandkids and great grandkids. And I want to be an active parent, grandparent, great grandparent. I don't want to be a burden on anyone when I'm older. Plus, you know, you, you work so hard every day and uh, when some people retire and they're completely broken and I don't see how you can enjoy retirement when you're physically broken and you, you don't have any hobbies. A lot of retirees honestly pass away too early after they retire because they're in bad shape, they got nothing to do and they probably pretty much die of boredom, I think. So, 
for me. I just want to retire and still enjoy myself and enjoy my kids and my hopefully grandkids and great grandkids. So, so that's my motivation. And honestly, for the working out part of it, is uh, yeah, so the for the working part of it, working out part of it is just something that I have to do. Honestly, I phys physically I feel bad when I don't work out. For, if I skip a day, I'm fine. But if I take two days off, I physically don't feel good because I missed out on the workout. So I, obviously some days are a drag and, you know, not every day is awesome because, you know, recovery and sleep sometimes is not the best because, like, if you've seen some of my posts, you know, being on call 24-7 for work is always is not conducive for rest and recovery but so that's why I got to make recovery a priority so I try to focus a lot on that so, so yeah it's just uh, it's ever since I started training it was just one of those things it's something that I had to do so don't uh, make up excuses of why not and just go go out there and train I don't like giving out motivational speeches and stuff like that because a lot of people who do this motivational talk are really not much doers themselves. It's just talk is empty a lot of times. You have to actually show it. So I try to do my best to show you exactly what I do. I'm not trying to, you know, do anything just for the gram. I just, everything that I post and show is exactly what I do. Nothing exaggerated. I can't stand all the fakeness on social media and all those platforms you know, I mean you see right through it but but yeah I hope this kind of breaks it down sorry for this long video um, kind of losing my train of thought because of the trying to maintain this kayak in the same spot it's kind of windy out here and uh, don't the lighting would get is gonna get pretty bad if I shift to the other side plus I don't know how this audio is gonna turn out but yeah, I hope uh, hope this kind of explains everything, the motivational part of it. And if you got any other questions or suggestions for the video, um, just let me know in the comments and below, and um, or hit me up on uh, Instagram. So I hope you like this video, and uh, yeah, please uh, appreciate if you like the video, if you'd subscribe to the channel, and. Uh, you would share it with your friends and we'll see you on the next one